Welcome to the Rusted Garden. Today is September 2nd. We're going to do a fall planting of peas. Go ahead and grab random four foot branches off of trees. We're going to use that for trellising. It's free. Going to set this up with Firmus Terra's worm castings and worm casting tea. Peas are cool weather vegetables. They like 40 to 50 degree nights, 60 to 70 degree days. And now that the cucumbers are beat up, the warm weather crops are ready to come out. I'm going to remove the cucumber right here. But I want more of a trellising system set up besides what I have here. And we're going to get into that space, plant and set it all up. I'll show you how to do that. I cleared out this area. You want to turn the ground 10 to 12 inches, just loosen it up. You want peas to go into a soil that's well drained. They don't like sitting in soggy soil. You don't need to do much in the way of fertilizing. Peas fix their own nitrogen from the air. They pull it, you know, from the air that's in the ground at the root system level. I'm going to use the Vermistar worm castings because I want the growth hormones and other positive things that are associated with worm castings to help the peas along. I'll link a video that explains that more. But when you're turning the ground, I'm growing a bean plant that I put in late. It doesn't even have beans yet, but my goal is to have beans all the way up until frost. Make sure you space placing the shovel into the ground a good 6 to 12 inches away from the stems of the plant. You don't want to damage the roots too closely to the stem. This way they'll survive. So we're going to get the peas in. Next step is really we're going to put in the tree branches, put in the trellising, and then we're going to drop the peas in around there. I set up two areas right down the middle where it's compressed as well. I'll be walking. On the right side are little marble peas. They take about 60 days to mature and they only get about two feet tall. They don't need a lot of trellising, so I just used some broken bamboo sticks that I had. Over on this side, I dropped in the tree branches. You want to get to about four feet high, and those are snow peas in there. So they're the peas with the edible pods. You can set it up a couple of different ways. So every, I'll space this one out a little more. Every three inches, two to three inches, I did a row of peas on this side. And then you can see a row of peas down there. We'll get to the fertilizing after we get them into the ground. Just press them in about a quarter of an inch. Don't go past half an inch. And you would just drop them in just like that. Cover them over. Over here, it's a little bit more scattered, but it's still two to three inches apart. And you can really pack peas together. That's how nature intended them to grow. They, you know, pop out of the pod. They fall on the ground. You don't need perfect spacing. Peas are hollow, so that's why they need trellising. If it, the wind comes or you tug on them, they break real easily. So they're going to really appreciate having something, you know, in which to trellis up. At my seed shop right now, I'm selling seed packs for $5. It's seven packs of seeds, cool weather vegetables. Some of them include peas for $5. So you can get seven packs of cool weather vegetables for $5 and there's three different sets. I'll put a link in there. It's a nice way to save money and you can experiment on really growing the cool weather vegetables. All right, let me press these in and then we'll get to the feeding and the watering. All right, all the peas have been planted. Now we're going to use the worm castings and a worm casting tea. Peas don't need a lot of fertilizer. I like using worm castings with them. I've been using this product for almost three years now. Worm castings, I like to say, are the end product of nature. The castings out of the worm not only contain N, P, and K, micronutrients and all that, they also contain growth hormones. And I like giving them, I like giving the peas, the castings for the growth hormones. About a handful, just sprinkle it across a space just like that. Nothing fancy. I like using the Vermistera products because pound for pound, you get more pure castings. There's not a lot of filler in there. So you do pay a little bit more per bag, but it's definitely worth it because you're getting castings. And it would take maybe, if this was one handful right here, not even, two or three handfuls right across the top. Now the worm casting tea is a concentrate, so it's a couple of ounces per gallon. And all I would do is water in the peas with the casting tea castings on top and that's it. I just let them go for the rest of the season. No more feeding. One thing I wanted to mention is the timing. Pea leaves can take a frost. So the leaf can actually freeze through and then it'll thaw. There's no damage. The pea pods can take a little bit of a frost. So you want to time planting your peas in the ground so you have about 60 to 75 days before your frost arrives. These are getting into my ground a little bit late, but I wanted to say is you don't have to just harvest peas, the pea pods. 
You can harvest the tendrils when they're about two inches, put them in salad, they taste just like peas and they're absolutely delicious. So if I don't get fully mature peas out of here, that's perfectly fine, because my goal is really to get tons of tendrils for my Cool Weather Green salad. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please check out my seed shop at www.therustedgarden.com. Thanks for watching.